So, was there really someone on the roof? There was, but it was just a friend of mine. Oh, so now your friends are spying on me. Look, I had nothing to do with it. I even got him to stop. Sure you did. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Can I convince her to take the interview? Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. It's very suspicious that she doesn't even care that she got a ring from her father. I think the handwriting from the letter was the same handwriting from the cleaning lady. But... We'll see. Wait, I want... What? what? I need to convince her to take the interview. Lady? Did you find anything interesting in those All papers? Right. Okay. No. Can I cancel this? <laughs> Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Mm. So, what do I investigate now? Hey, old friend. Oh, I guess there's nothing we can talk about anymore. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> in and here. Lots to keep weekly away from the gym. Does that mean there's more to the gym? I don't even know. See where else we can go. This is nothing there. The goat's still there. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Hey, pal, how about thanking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> <coughs> Um, you have a cough? I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy properties. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. Did he just call it's me just a lady? I don't want to make it... You don't want what? What? Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. 
Well then, another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Uh, I guess I'll open up. Yeah, I killed people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Ooh, oh, well, like he slipped you up. know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> <laughs> The government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons, <laughs> lodging, hookers, drugs. <clears throat> Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> the taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> They declare war, war, every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get gets richer and, and richer and richer. And that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless... One manages to keep at arm's length. <sighs> that is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel! <laughs> so, do you like your master, the Great? Hey, what's your name? You never told me... Okay. I see something in that trunk. I guess it's not important. Uh, let's try some deductions. That's nice handwriting. Yep, that should be the one. <laughs> I talked about it, but I didn't deduce it. <laughs> okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Uh, let's slowly walk out of here towards the diner. Black sad way. Yep, any moment now. Guy looks like he's following me. Um, who's Jake Osteo? Oh, that's the gorilla. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. Did he have money issues? I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. Here we go. That's what I wanted have to talk about. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. You picked up that it's ring. It's too painful. Did you? But we need to find Bobby Yale. 
Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. She's not going to mention that. What thing? do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How... how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I... I barely know him. Hmm. Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. It might be best to stay away from the gym, at least for a while, for your own well-being. In due time, things might change. Joey used to say the same thing. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks. Joey? Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Really, lady? Really? Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't even search the diner. I got something. Hmm. Does this have to do with Joey? Very cool. Done, Joey. We don't know who that lover is, right? Oh. Oh, I deduced that, so... To live Joey? Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Time to talk to her again. Hi, Mr. Blackside. Back. <laughs> It'll have been two seconds. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Lady, there's something have you're you not telling anything me. Have you anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Right, what do I do with this information? Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. Can I sneak around the back? All I have to do is lift a leg. Oh no, but I can't do that. I can't even run. Oh, hey, lizard. Chameleon. How's it going? Oh, another friend. Are you a bear? There was a guy who was a bookkeeper, right? Um, maybe... Maybe I have the wrong idea. Hello, are you a bouncer? Shouldn't you be standing in front of the door? Can I buy a watch? You know, I could interrogate witnesses next to the gym
Oh, I got another thing. There's more to the juice? Okay, um... So I find out that... The Mary and Donna are an item. Oh. Wow. And... Arthur or Tucker. Put these two together. No. Wait. Uh. Paint. It has to do with um. Mary, right? Hmm. Oh, <gasps> wait. <laughs> wait, Don Joe Don. It's a widower and got together with the cleaning lady. And that's a new password. Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? Oh, time to book it. Get those legs, Black Sad. You know, I know a way to make Black Sad run faster. I'm still very suspicious of Joe Dunn's daughter. But she wanted to get into the safe, but she didn't know how. Have some privacy. Oh shit, not random combination. I thought he already got the information from looking at the business cards. And there it was. Mary's birthday. A week prior to that very day. A week prior to the... The death day? It's not much cash. A few bucks. Just petty cash. Hmm. I never would have taken done for a gun owner. You open the safe? Yeah. Of course and I she think was you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? Oh. All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. You're suspiciously one lucky lady. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Um. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Can I read the will? You know? <laughs> when was it signed? It was written four years ago. Just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. All right. Like, can Thanks. I see it for myself? 
Isn't that allowed? Can I use my cat senses? Fine. Fine. Don't let a detective look at the will. No, just in case it doesn't say what she's told me. So, I'm still looking for Bobby Yale. Oh shit. Let's... See if we can talk to Mary again. Or I could talk to Jack while he's still here. Tell him. Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning, he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. So... Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. But that doesn't sound like a guy who would kill him. This lady walks faster than me. Back again. I know you're hiding something. What? Uh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I just found out it was a week ago. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Schedule, huh? Welcome. I'm sure you received wonderful presents. For example, your date of birth used as the combination for Dunn's safe. My goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in ten minutes. Can you wait a while? I mean, it will take Make me ten minutes to walk here, there. Mary. To wherever we meet. Coming right up. Mary Purnell, the angel Joe Dunn found in his golden years. We'd been seeing each other for almost two years. It all started with, well, weekdays I start cleaning the gym at dawn, before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. Is she a cat? He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. Uh, paperwork? Say no more. Paperwork. <laughs> he really hated it. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... <sighs> uh, he tried to cheer you up, of course. He tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of joe and some fresh air. That was the first of many cups on the rooftop. And... Whoops! <laughs> Which is where you seduced him. I'm a decent woman, Mr. Blacksad. <laughs> I mean, it could go both ways, man. You might be too young to understand I have to pick this, one. but... Real love has little to do with seduction. One day... We realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day. 
So we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. Um, why didn't you tell Sonya? Maybe you should have told his daughter. Like I said, I barely know her. Joey didn't want her to find out until we were sure. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was. And we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. Uh, he proposed? So, he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring and we decided to tell the world. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. Uh... What about Yale? Wasn't he like a son to him? Maybe you already noticed, I, I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Um, maybe you should cover your maybe neck? Maybe you should cover your neck. I lost my scarf a while back, not sure where. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my bus stop. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Blackset. Right. Were we supposed to have a proper talk? He's got a call. She left a scarf somewhere. Hmm. Did she throw in the trash? It's a scarf, the murder weapon. 